Protesters gathered in solidarity tonight and marched the streets of downtown St. Louis over the murder of Jalen Walker. Walker was a 25 year old black man who was shot and killed by police in Akron, Ohio last month. He was shot 90 times by eight different officers. Now people across the country are protesting and demanding change. Five on your sides, Mercedes McKay was at the protest tonight in St. Louis and joins us with that group's main message. Mercedes. Sarah, the organizer told me their main message of tonight was to wake people up to what's going on in our country right now. He emphasized that it's not all about making their voices heard, but reminding people that they have the power to make a change. We're out here to say stop killing us. We're out here to say that black lives matter and that we deserve equity and equality in this country. In front of the St. Louis police headquarters on Saturday night. People came from all over the state to stand in solidarity and express their frustration. His name, Jalen Walker. Over what happened more than 500 miles away in Akron, Ohio, less than two weeks ago, to 25 year old Jalen Walker. Another black American, another black American male has been slain by the police. JD Dixon, director of Empire 13, a grassroots activist organization, describes it as heartbreaking and never ending. We know that there's going to be another Jalen Walker here soon. And that's why we're out here. We're out here because we have to affect that policy reform because we know it's going to happen again. The group marched from police headquarters to the Enterprise Center. Say his name, say his name. Making their voices heard from Olive Street to Clark Avenue. But Dixon emphasized the work doesn't stop when their feet do. If all we're doing is marching and not affecting those policies, then when we're done marching, those policies are still in place and there's going to be another police killing. Activists voice the only way to really bring change is to affect law and policies, but they can do it on their own. And what I want people to see is really open their hearts up and open their minds up to see that it's going to take all of us. It's going to take all of us to come together and really bring change and be the change. Dixon says it's not all about voting for that change, but running for office to be in those cha chairs and actually make the change. Sarah. Thanks, Mercedes. Meanwhile,